All right, John 14, 1 and 3, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. We don't have to worry about it, guys. Let not your heart be, uh, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God? How many believe in God? Believe also in me. This is Jesus saying, it's not me. Believe also in me. In my Father's house. In my Father's house. In my Father's house. Say that. In my Father's house. Are many mansions. Many mansions in my Father's house. House. That's like saying you live. I mean, well, I live in a two-bedroom house. I've got two rooms in my house, but in my father's house are not two rooms or twenty rooms. It's many mansions. If it were not true, I would have told you. If it wasn't true, Jesus would have told you it's not true. I go to prepare a place for you. Remember, Jesus died. Jesus descended up into the clouds. We watched him. Remember? We waited last week. We watched him. They stood there and they watched Jesus go up into the clouds. Uh, and if, if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. He promised us. I will come again. I'm going to get you. Don't worry. And receive you unto myself that where I am, where Jesus is, there we may be also. There ye may be also. But there we may be also. So Jesus prepared this big old thing. That's what Jesus has been doing. How old are you, Kaya? Did you know for seven years Jesus has been preparing a mansion for you? For seven years? For seven years he's been working on it. And until you get to heaven, he's going to continue to work on it. So if, let's say you live to be 100. That would make your mom 140. And for 100 years... Jesus, listen, check this out, this is cool. For a hundred years, Jesus is up in heaven preparing our mansions. Now, how long does it take to build a McDonald's? About eight months, I think, to build an entire McDonald's? It don't take a week, it takes about eight months. Okay, so if it takes eight months to build a McDonald's, and McDonald's is wonderful, and I love McDonald's, the mansion that Jesus has prepared for us in heaven, if he took a hundred years to prepare it, or 80 years, or 65 years, or however old you are when you leave this world into the next world, it's going to be pretty fabulous. And guess what? He did it all for us. So I started thinking, what is heaven going to be like? Jesus left heaven to come and die on the cross. Not because heaven wasn't worth it, but because we were worth it. So we could go to heaven. Jesus left heaven so we could go to heaven. Now, Jesus is back in heaven because he died. He descended into the clouds. So that's what we're talking about. So we're talking about waiting. Well, what if I told you that sometime next week I'm taking you guys to Six Flags? How many would be excited? Now, it's going to be one day next week. And I'm going to be driving the bus. Now, listen to me. You guys got to pay attention to the rules. I'm going to come by next week and pick you guys up and we're going to Six Flags. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about anything. I'm taking you to Six Flags. One day next week. All right? But listen, if you're not ready when I get there, I'm not waiting. Because I'm coming to pick you up. And if you're not ready, I'm going on, okay? So if you're not ready when I come by with the bus, what happens? You get left. You get left. So how many is going to spend next week, or some, how many is going to prepare to go to Six Flags and be ready when I come by in the bus? Most people. Most people is going to be ready. What if I told you, though, tomorrow, now you got a choice. Next week, I'm taking you to Six Flags if you're ready to go. But tomorrow, I'll take you to the park. But if I take you to the park, you can't go to Six Flags. So who wants to go to the park with me tomorrow? I'll be by your house at 10 o'clock. Every one of you, I'll be by at 10 o'clock in the morning. You don't have to worry about going to school. I'm going to take you to the park tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Who wants to go to the park with me? But the thing is, you go to the park with me tomorrow, you don't go to Six Flags with me the next week. See... People don't understand the value of what heaven is, and they'll sell their life out for something that keeps them out of heaven because they want a thrill right now. So it's like going to the park. I wanted to go to the park now, but because I go now, I miss out on Six Flags next week. We don't want to miss out on Six Flags, right? The park's got some slides. Six Flags has got slides, and bigger slides, and taller slides, and you got to be this tall to get on the slide. That's how good they are. So Six Flags is so much better than the park. Why would you sell out to go to the park with me tomorrow if you can go to Six Flags with me one day next week? Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't make any sense. But you know what? 
you guys come to Super Sunday and you hear the word. You hear preaching every Sunday night by somebody. Myself, my dad, uh, Sister Susie, Jacob, uh, Brother Kerry's going to be doing it one Sunday night coming up. And we tell you every Sunday night, guys, Six Flags is coming. Get ready. Six Flags is coming. Be ready because we're going to go to Six Flags. We don't know what day it's going to be. We don't have that planned out yet. But Six Flags is coming. Let's get ready to go. I'm not serious about going to Six Flags, but I am serious about heaven. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I feel like I need to give hugs out. I just disappointed the entire church. Hmm? Hypothetically speaking, our Six Flags trip is coming. Our trip to heaven is coming. And if you're not ready to go when Jesus comes, we're getting left. If you're not ready to go to Six Flags when the bus goes by, you're getting left.